So hello, my name is Sharan Ismaili. I'm an endoscopy fellow in RT. Today I'm going to speak to you about an ERCP procedure. So before your procedure, one of our pre-assessment nurses will ring you and have a chat with you about the procedure and what will be involved. You'll also receive patient information leaflet and a consent form in the post. Sometimes we ask you to come in for some blood tests before the procedure. We'll let you know if we need to do that. So an ERCP involves a camera inserted through the mouth going through the gullet, the stomach and the small bowel where it reaches where the bowel duct is. Once we can see the bowel duct, under x-ray guidance we are able to get inside and do various treatments such as place a stent or remove the stone. So the common reasons for doing an ERCP procedure are to remove stones from the bowel tube if it gets stuck, to place a stent and take some samples if there's a narrowing in the bowel duct and to place a stent if there's a leak after a gallbladder surgery. Normally, before we get you down for the procedure, we do different scans such as an MRI or a CT to give us some more information so we know exactly what we're going to do on the day. So what happens on the day of your procedure? So beforehand, you will have received the time as to when we would like you to come for your procedure. Normally, we ask you to fast for six hours before you come in. On the day of the procedure, you'll come to the reception for the endoscopy unit. A nurse will then take you through to a room and go through your medical history and what medications you take. So a doctor will go through the consent form with you. You'll have an opportunity to ask any questions at this point in time. You'll then be taken through to the waiting area where you can relax before your procedure. Once it's your procedure's time, we'll take you through to our endoscopy room. But what are the risks associated with an ERTP procedure? Like any procedure, when we do an ERTP, there are some risks. Um, it's important to emphasise that the risks are rare, but because they can happen, we need to let you know about them. There's a risk of pancreatitis, which means inflammation or irritation of your pancreas gland. There's the risk of causing bleeding, a risk of perforation or causing a tear, and there is a risk of introducing infection into the bowel duct. There is a small risk of causing a serious, life-threatening complication as a result of this procedure which may mean that you need to come into hospital for a period of time. Further information about ERTP related complications are available in our patient information. Are there any alternatives to an ERTP? Well, there is a possibility that we can remove stones by means of a surgical operation. This is generally more complex, but if you wish to speak to a surgeon, we can arrange this for you. If you decide not to have an ERTP procedure, then there is a chance that your symptoms may not resolve. What happens during and after the procedure? Before the procedure, we will give you a medication called sedation. This will help to relax you for the procedure and makes it more comfortable for you. It's important to be aware that you will be conscious during the procedure. The procedure normally lasts between 30 and 45 minutes. After the procedure, you'll be taken to the recovery area where a nurse will keep a close eye on you. Once you're a bit more awake, you'll be able to have something to eat and drink. Before you go home, one of our endoscopy nurses will go through exactly what happened during the procedure and what follow-up is needed. Once you go home, if you become unwell, you can contact the endoscopy unit for any advice or out of hours, you can contact accident emergency. If you have any questions, please ask us. We look forward to meeting you on the day.